Welcome to Module 2, Promoting Physical Activity for Infants and Toddlers in Early Childhood Settings. This module provides a developmental approach to promoting physical activity and optimal physical development for infants and toddlers in child care. The module is divided into two sections, Promoting Physical Activity for Infants and Promoting Physical Activity for Toddlers. You are presently in the Promoting Physical Activity for Toddlers session, which will be about one half hour in length. If you have not already done so, you will need to complete the Promoting Physical Activity for Infants session at a later time to complete the entire module. The content of this module is based on the third edition of Caring for Our Children, which is the definitive source on best practice in health and safety in early care and education settings. Links to the standards used in the development of the content in this training session are available on the Physical Activity module page of the Building a Healthy Start website at www.adph.org slash healthy start. All of the Caring for Our Children standards are available online at www.nrckids.org. It is important to understand the difference between standards, guidelines, and regulations when discussing best practice in child care. This knowledge will help you to better incorporate the information that you receive today into your daily practice. A standard is a statement that defines a goal of practice. It is usually based on scientific evidence. It is stronger than a recommendation or a guideline, but differs from a regulation because compliance is not necessarily required for legal operation. Examples of national standards include Caring for Our Children and the ASTM International Standards for Product Safety, such as their Crib Safety Standards. A guideline is a statement of advice or instruction. A guideline is issued from an organization with acknowledged professional standing and usually comes from a perceived need for such guidance. One example of guidelines is the Choose My Plate campaign from the United States Department of Agriculture, also known as the USDA. A regulation, however, is a standard or guideline that becomes a requirement for legal operation. A regulation comes from an agency with governmental or official authority and is accompanied by enforcement activity. Examples of regulations include the Alabama Department of Human Resources licensing standards and the Health Department's food safety regulations. Because creating regulations is a lengthy legal process, regulations, although they still must be followed, may become outdated and no longer represent best practice. Please remember that the content of this module is based on the best practice standards published in Caring for Our Children. These standards may or may not have been adopted as regulations in Alabama. Caregivers should be familiar with state and local child care regulations and operate in compliance with such regulations. Before we talk about how to promote physical activity, let's briefly review why physical activity should be promoted from birth. Infants and toddlers learn through play, developing gross motor, socio-emotional, and cognitive skills. Participation in regular physical activity promotes gross motor development, increased fitness, cardiovascular health, healthy bone development, improved sleep, maintenance of healthy weight, and enhanced mood and sense of well-being. As a caregiver, you need to encourage and support physical activity and movement throughout each day. Development of physical skills requires practice and repetition. It is important to remember that skills do not develop just because the child ages. So let's begin learning about best practice related to promoting physical activity for toddlers. The National Association for Sport and Physical Education, also known as NASPE, developed guidelines that you will see on this slide for regular physical activity with toddlers. It is recommended that caregivers engage toddlers in at least 30 minutes of structured physical activity each day. Structured physical activity is defined as intentional movement directed by and supported by the caregiver, such as games and moving to music. Each activity can be for a short period of time, such as 5 to 10 minutes. In addition, toddlers should have at least 60 minutes of unstructured physical activity each day, which includes free play. The 60 minutes daily is not intended to occur in one block of time. Toddlers have spurts of energy and short attention spans. The 60 minutes includes a variety of movement activities throughout the day, such as playing independently with wheeled toys and climbing obstacles. 
As much as possible, allow movement and free play throughout each day. Don't expect toddlers to sit still or play quietly. Plan each day to provide activities that alternate active play and more sedentary or quiet activities. Free play and movement skills are the building blocks for more complex movement tasks. Remember, safety as toddlers develop movement skills and make sure both indoor and outdoor areas meet or exceed recommended safety standards. As a caregiver, you need to be aware of the importance of physical activity for toddlers and facilitate each child's movement skills and overall development. Daily physical activity for toddlers promotes large muscle development, including strength and endurance and flexibility. In addition to the benefits you can observe, Daily movement also promotes cardiovascular endurance, reduces the risk of becoming overweight, and supports feelings of accomplishment and independence. Encouraging regular physical activity in early childhood begins development of lifelong healthy habits. Toddlers are naturally active, and they learn through movement and play. As they develop a sense of independence, and often heard phrases, me do it, and do it myself. As their curiosity increases, so does their exploration and mobility. Toddlers do not recognize danger or the consequences of their actions and movements. It is essential that caregivers provide a safe environment and closely supervise young children. Toddlers are beginning to interact with other toddlers. Sometimes they want to play with others, but often play alone. Also, toddlers are self-centered. If they see something they want, they will try to get it, even if it means taking it away from another child. This self-centeredness is not intentional. It's just a developmental stage. Toddlers are just beginning to learn to share and take turns. The head and trunk size of toddlers are large in proportion to the rest of their bodies, so they can appear to be top heavy. As the legs grow and muscles develop strength, toddlers are able to move faster and more easily. As vision and visual perception improve, they develop skills to track moving objects, such as a ball rolling towards them. As their sense of their balance and their own body positioning improve, toddlers enjoy the challenge of climbing and balancing activities. To prevent injuries, be sure to keep activities low to the ground. Toddlers may bump into other children and objects and often fall as they try new movements. It is important for caregivers to recognize typical movement development in toddlers. Every child is different, but toddlers develop in a progressive order. Recognizing developmental milestones helps caregivers and parents observe a child's development over time. By recognizing and understanding physical development, caregivers are better able to integrate appropriate movement activities each day. This knowledge also helps caregivers to recognize signs of possible physical delay or other concerns that should be referred to the child's regular doctor. Remember that these developmental milestones reflect typical physical development of toddlers. Every child is unique and most differences are normal. At 12 to 18 months of age, toddlers can walk with assistance and many toddlers begin to walk independently. Most young toddlers can crawl up and down stairs. Fine motor skills continue to develop as toddlers stack two objects, clap hands, and begin to use spoons. Favorite activities include pushing, pulling, carrying, and dumping objects. Over the next six months, from 18 to 24 months of age, toddlers develop the ability to walk up and down stairs, walk on uneven surfaces, and stand on one foot, but they still require adult help. At this age, toddlers can run reasonably well, but are unaware of potential hazards in their path. As fine motor skills progress, toddlers enjoy rolling handheld wheeled toys such as toy cars and trucks, they begin to dress themselves with easy to pull on clothing and feed themselves using grasping and pinching skills. From 24 to 30 months of age, toddlers are more independent and much more mobile. These young children can easily ride four-wheeled toys, especially those without pedals. They can run, jump, climb, stand on tippy toe, and open doors by turning knobs and handles. As their independence and physical mobility increases, so do the boundaries of their environment. Caregivers must continue to provide a safe and secure environment and provide close supervision. At 30 to 36 months of age, toddlers demonstrate increasingly higher physical skills and abilities. 
They enjoy riding tricycles and other pedal toys, often showing off their speed and ability. They have developed a hand preference for the right or left hand and can hold markers and crayons, use paint and clay, and stack toys easily. As recommended by the NASPY guidelines, physical activity for toddlers and young children involves play throughout each day. Toddlers have short bursts of energy and enjoy active play. Toddlers may play vigorously, such as by running and jumping for 10 minutes, and then need a recovery period of quiet activities such as story time and coloring. Remember that toddlers have short attention spans, usually five to 10 minutes, where they engage in structured or free play physical activity. Encourage mobility, exploration of the environment, and new challenges. As toddlers demonstrate skills, challenge them to further build on those skills. For example, a toddler first learns to stand, then progresses to standing on one foot, and then to standing on tippy toe. Likewise, a toddler first learns to hop with both feet, and later learns to jump further or to hop on one foot. Toddlers like to do things by themselves, but need repetition to learn new skills. Most toddlers enjoy any activity that includes movement, such as climbing stairs, exploring the environment, playing outside, crawling, walking, dancing, swaying, jumping, and running. But remember, these skills are developing and toddlers often fall or bump into objects. Be sure to supervise them closely and use appropriate equipment. Play equipment that is less than three feet tall and has steps designed for toddlers provides a safer challenge when learning to navigate steps. Provide the least restrictive environment for active movement with at least five by seven feet of space per child. Indoor play space should be out of the walking path and away from shelving or objects that could fall. The outdoor play environment should be enclosed for safety. Help children learn to negotiate environmental challenges through both indoor and outdoor play opportunities. Allow children to explore and experience age-appropriate obstacles, frustrations, and risk. Arrange colorful materials and equipment to support physical activity and learning. Spread out equipment and allow plenty of room for activities. When providing toys for indoor and outdoor play, try to have two or more of each item because toddlers take what they want. Toddlers enjoy riding and push toys, large balls and blocks, and objects that they can safely climb up, jump down, or crawl through. Provide pretend play tools such as digging tools and small brooms. Child-sized musical instruments provide noisy fun, but be sure that the instruments are not too loud. Loud noises may damage hearing. Remember that balls and toys need to be colorful, large, soft, and washable. Caregivers can create inexpensive blocks in a variety of materials and colors using empty shoe boxes and other clean boxes. Obstacle courses can be created with large boxes to crawl through or cushions to climb over. It is important to play with toddlers to encourage movement and skill building. Choose activities that are appropriate for the toddler's age and skill level. Children learn through repetition. As skills develop, vary these same activities to challenge children and promote further skills. As always, be aware of and remove potential safety hazards. Let's talk about physical activities that are fun, challenging, and developmentally appropriate for toddlers. Be sure to download the handout, Physical Activity with Toddlers, which can serve as a reminder of this material. Securely tape a hula hoop to the floor or use tape to mark out a large circle on the floor. Let children practice stepping in and then jumping in and out of the circle. Vary this activity by counting jumps out loud to integrate number recognition. Another variation is to place two or three hoops so that they can touch each other. Integrate color recognition by using colored tape or hoops and help children recognize differences by creating different side circles. Encourage children to move to the music. Show children how to stand with their legs apart and knees bent, then sway and dance to the music. As their skills develop, add clapping, jumping, and marching to the music. Toddlers love parades. Caregivers can sing, chant, and play lively music as they lead the toddlers across the room or playground. Once toddlers learn to follow the leader, change the parade, giving children small scarves to wave, hats to wear, or musical instruments to play. Be sure objects are soft, no sticks or flags. There are many kinds of parades to create movement and build skills. 
practice walking, marching, and jumping during the parade. Or pretend to be a train with choo-choo sounds and blow the whistle movements. Parades can be conducted both indoors and outdoors. Toddlers love to climb and crawl, so set up a simple obstacle course. The course should allow children to climb over, under, through, around, in, and out. Indoors, toddlers can crawl over large cushions, crawl through tunnels made of sheets or large cardboard boxes, and step into and out of a hula hoop laid flat on the ground. Be sure to tape the hula hoop to the floor to avoid tripping. Outdoor courses might include walking, jumping, and marching over squares of different surfaces such as grass, colorful textured carpet squares, sand, and pea gravel, or set up tunnels of boxes in soft grassy areas. Remember to watch out for ants and stinging insects. Catching and throwing are developing skills and require practice. To begin, sit across from the toddler with legs spread apart so that both your legs and the toddler's legs will form a large V. Say, here comes the ball, and roll a large ball toward the child. The child will trap the ball with his legs, arms, and chest. Encourage the child to roll the ball back to you. As skill develops, repeat with various sizes of balls. Teach throwing by rolling clean, old socks into balls and practice tossing the socks into a large laundry basket. Let children decide what distance they stand from the basket. Vary this activity with different sizes of baskets or multiple baskets. Integrate color recognition by using various colored socks. Water play is a fun outdoor activity. Integrate art and movement with a water splash game. Fill a small bucket with clean water and soak small sponges. Show children how to throw the wet sponges at the side of a building or onto a flat surface. Watch the water splash and see the mark the water makes. Integrate science and math as you compare different sizes and shapes of splashes and see how the water drips downward. Many familiar children's songs are full of movement, such as Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, Old MacDonald, Wheels on the Bus, If You're Happy and You Know It. Children love repetition. As toddlers develop skills, vary the words and the action movements. Toddlers like to mimic adults, so lead the children in creative movement. Sway like a tree, swim like a fish, and jump like a frog. Describe animals that most children have seen, such as a dog, a cat, or a chicken, or a cow. It can even be a snake. Ask children to show what that animal does using movement, sound, and lots of imagination. Read stories about animals or people, such as firefighters, construction workers, farmers, and others. Act out the movements in the story. Most importantly, encourage children to move in their own ways. Smile, applaud, and encourage all movements. There is no correct way to move. All movement is good. Use color to get children's attention and teach them to observe. Place a single object, such as a teddy bear, in a different yet visible place each day. It could be on a shelf, in a bed, or even hanging from the ceiling. Help children look up, down, and all around to find the object each day. Create ownership by naming the bear and creating a class mascot. Dress the bear in different clothing to match the season or weather. Another activity is to place several plastic apples or colorful balls around the classroom. All the objects should be similar, such as red apples or green balls. This helps children easily recognize what they're looking for. The objects should be visible, but in various places, such as on a shelf, behind a chair, or in an open box. Walk, crawl, and hop with children to look for the missing objects. Remember, this is play, not competition. Bubbles are fun for toddlers. Blow bubbles upward and encourage children to watch, chase, and catch bubbles. If bubbles land on ground, encourage children to stomp on them. Use different types of bubble wands to create big bubbles and little bubbles. Vary the activity by dropping scarves, large feathers, or other soft objects. Use a handheld fan to create a breeze and watch the objects move. Outdoors or in a large open room, provide a large flat area for toddlers to use wheeled toys. Encourage pretend play with push and pull toys such as a toy lawnmower and a wagon and toy brooms, rakes, and other household objects. Small wheel toys also provide fun movement. Set up indoor courses for children to push and pull toy cars, trucks, and other wheeled toys. 
Provide ramps, tunnels, and obstacles. Provide four-wheeled riding toys without pedals for young toddlers to push and ride. And add three or four-wheel pedal toys for older toddlers. Create a large and level riding area for the children to use. Safety helmets are required. Begin teaching toddlers to ride the safe way, even on non-pedal wheeled toys. Have helmets of different sizes and colors. Toddlers will begin to recognize their favorite helmets. Take toddlers outdoors to play every day if weather permits. Supervise children closely when going to and from the playground and enclose play areas with fencing and other secure barriers. Barriers make supervision easier and not only prevent escape from the play area, but also limit access to the play area by outside hazards such as stray animals. Fencing and barriers should be durable and without sharp edges. In areas near roads, a concrete barrier may be recommended to prevent vehicles from entering the play area. Remember, fencing does not substitute for supervision. Provide large, clear spaces for children to run, jump, and freely move. Toddlers often fall, so remove tripping hazards. Toddlers have tender skin and can sunburn quickly, especially in the midday sun. Schedule outdoor play during early morning or later in afternoon and provide shade with large trees or canopies. Always have drinking water available. The outdoor environment is an extension of the indoor classroom learning environment. While walking outdoors, print out rocks, sticks, leaves, and other objects that are safe. Put the objects in a basket to explore later. Toddlers do not recognize dangers, so be sure to supervise carefully. Avoid unsafe items such as trash, stinging insects, and snakes. Practice balance skills by walking on a wide wooden plank placed flat on the ground. Begin with a 10 inch to 12 inch wide board. As the skill develops, use planks of different widths. Place planks end to end, create angles and squares, and use painted planks of different colors. Play equipment can be used indoors and outdoors. Provide large soft balls to throw and kick. Offer sand and water play and provide containers for filling and pouring. Take art supplies outdoors for messy and fun painting. Nurture and encourage children throughout each day. Smile, praise, and applaud all of their efforts and motivate them to keep trying. Children are just beginning to develop physical skills and each child will progress at his or her own rate. Children learn through repetition, but vary activities so that each child has challenges and successes. Physical activities should be enjoyable play for every child. Do not create competition. Be sure to share information each day with parents about their child's emerging physical abilities, such as throwing, catching, and jumping. As a caregiver, you can encourage parents to support physical activity at home and describe their children's favorite activities at childcare. Some parents may not be aware of appropriate activity for toddlers. Encourage parents to play with their children and enjoy moving together for short periods of time, such as 10 to 15 minutes. Remind parents that long periods of activity, such as adult exercise videos or organized sports, such as soccer or football, are not appropriate for young children. Some parents are not familiar with typical child development and may have concerns about their children's progress. Advise parents to consult their regular doctor with questions and provide resource information as appropriate. Activities and equipment, including furniture, may be adapted to meet the developmental and physical needs of individual children. These situations require individual planning prior to the child's entry into the program. If observation of a toddler's physical activity indicates a concern about the toddler's development, encourage parents to consult the child's regular doctor. Provide information on resources and appropriate programs for further evaluation. The handout Referral Resources for Developmental Concerns provides information about Alabama's Early Intervention System and Children's Rehabilitation Service, both of which are public resources for toddlers with special needs in Alabama. Toddlers learn best by interacting with adults and with other children, not screens. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends avoiding television and other entertainment media for infants and children less than two years of age. Television programming and other media are businesses. Part of marketing is to convince parents and caregivers that media is beneficial. However, even educational programming showing physical movement is less beneficial than physical activity with a real human. 
Screen time includes computer games, game pads, and smartphones. Even very young children can move their fingers over a pad and enjoy watching the screen activity. However, this does not promote cognitive learning or physical skill development. Encourage parents to have screen-free zones at home. Parents should supervise and be aware of programming, games, and other media activities that their children are exposed to or engaged in. Remember that promoting physical activity in early childhood forms the basis for a lifetime of active living. Thank you for your participation in this training session. In order to finish Module 2, be sure to complete the first session on promoting physical activity for infants. The training module team may follow up with you in three months to see how you have used this information. A short post-training survey may be sent to you at the email address you provided during registration.